Joe Biggs here with InfoWars.com. Now, today I want to talk about something that I heard earlier in the Alex Jones broadcast on the show today. He played a clip of Warren Buffett speaking, and this is embedded in a Paul Joseph Watson article titled, Warren Buffett, Artificial Intelligence Will Decide Whether or Not Humans Live or Die. So let's take a look at this clip, and then we'll analyze it after. There's some interesting questions. I mean, let's just say you've got a self-driving car, and you're going down the street, and... and a three-year-old kid runs out in front of the car, and there's another car coming the other direction with four people in it, and the computer is going to make the decision as to whether to hit the kid or hit the other car. You know, I'm not sure who gets sued under those. You're going to kill somebody, and and uh, uh, it will be the computer that makes the decision in a nanosecond, and um, it'll be interesting to know who programs that computer and what their thoughts are about the values of human lives and things. <laughs> So this is the moral question. Like he said, if there's a three-year-old child who walks out into traffic and then there is a car with four passengers inside that could swerve and possibly hit some, hit a tree, hit a pole and kill four people, where does that moral decision go to? It goes to the person whoever programs the computer and that's what he brings up in this report he says i'm not sure who gets sued over these circumstances you're going to kill somebody and it will be the computer that makes the decision in a nanosecond and it will be interesting to know who programs that computer and what their thoughts are about the values of human lives and things and that was the end of his statement now we already know that the vaccine court exists the vaccine court basically lets these big pharmaceutical companies who make these you know vaccines impervious to being sued so what that means is, is if you get a, a flu shot or your child gets some kind of a vaccine and dies, you cannot go and sue these big pharmaceutical companies because of the vaccine court. Now, it got me thinking, who's going to be liable for deaths when these happen, when these driverless cars are implemented on the streets every day? Who gets sued for that? Because you, the driver, obviously aren't going to be because they're trying to take that away from you. Now it's going to go to these huge uh automotive companies that will be owning all these driverless cars whoever owns that will be the the powerhouse and i have a feeling that the same concept of the vaccine court will be implemented with the with the automotive industry with driverless cars that if you die or your children die driving or riding in a car i should say you can't go and sue whatever company it is that's making it because they will be impervious to that due to some new type of vaccine court that will cover these automotive industries that are making these driverless cars. So that's something that's very scary, that you're going to be driving around in something like that. You can't get any kind of compensation for loss of life, anything like that whatsoever. They will not be held liable for that. And that's something that you have to think about. That is to me one of the scariest things. And then the other fact that knowing that if you're driving down the road, and the car realizes that you're late on child support, you're behind on taxes, anything like that, the car can essentially shut down, notify local law enforcement, the doors will lock, and this will be like a small prison cell holding you there until you know, the authorities arrive to essentially take you and detain you and put you in jail and book you. So this is just another example of our government trying to inject this artificial intelligence into our lives when clearly we don't need that. People need to be held responsible for the crappy decisions that they make. There needs to be someone that you can look at and go, hey, you mess up, you need to be held accountable for this and not have some vaccine court that goes, oh, we're covered, we, you guys can't do anything to us, sorry. You know, we said on the, in the, on the labels there that there's you know a chance that something could happen if you take this. Meanwhile, the government's shoving it down your throat every day in commercials, on TV, getting people like LeBron James or whoever, celebrities to endorse the fact that you should go and get your vaccines. I mean, this is just out of control, this world we live in. And now they're taking the same concept of artificial intelligence, removing the human emotion away to make a good sound decision into our VA systems. So now we have the IBM Watson program back in the news again today, and it kind of meshes well with the fact of what we're talking about with these driverless cars taking the human emotion away and decision-making behind life-changing decisions. Now, we already know that the VA has death panels. It's been proven. We've heard Bill Gates talk about it. This is something that we know. It's now in the mainstream. You know, tons of vets have died and are dying 
waiting, seeking medical attention at these poorly ran VA hospitals all across the country. And yay for Austin because they've decided to bring in this evil program, IBM Watson, here to my town to run the VA's data center. Yeah, I mean, that that's something that literally makes my blood boil to know that we're going to put some artificial intelligent computer in there that's not really intelligent because in order to have intelligence, I think you also have to have a bit of human emotion as well to be able to make good sound decisions when regarding people's lives. Now, what they want to use this for is to help treat PTSD patients. Now, I'm pretty sure IBM Watson never deployed to Iraq, Afghanistan, Vietnam, Korea, Panama, wherever, ever. I doubt that very much, but what I do know about IBM Watson, I'm going to tell you in this upcoming report. Focus and three, two, one. Tonight, IBM, friend or foe, IBM has been announced as the winner of a long-term VA contract to modernize the electronic health records management system for the embattled VA. IBM will utilize the latest technology to provide up-to-the-minute care for veterans all across this great country. The VA released a statement, we are serious about health of our nation's heroes and are sparing no expense to update, modernize, and create an efficient system to diagnose and provide real-time health care solutions for those who have served our country. We thank IBM, a company that has a long history providing cutting-edge information technology solutions for stepping in, providing leadership and experience that will be valuable to our country and save taxpayers money. Hold on. This isn't who we are. No. Give me those freaking cue cards, man. Ah! You know what? You know what's going to happen with this? You know what the implications are of this Watson program that's going to come up? It's a computer that they're going to use to replace the doctors at the VA to do the death panels that have been going on to help take away human emotion from making those decisions. This is something that's got to change. This is ridiculous. And I'm Joe Biggs with Infowars.com, and I'm not going to f- take it anymore. I'm standing outside of the Veterans Affairs Center in Austin, Texas. This will be the proving ground for IBM's brand new technology, Watson. Now, what that is is a supercomputer that will have all of your medical records, admin records, and many other things downloaded into it. They want to use this machine to replace the doctors that have had death panels going on at the VA for years now. Newly released documents expose more explicitly the details of IBM's pivotal role in the Holocaust. All six phases, identification, expulsion from society, confiscation, ghettoization, deportation, and even extermination. Moreover, the documents portray with crystal clarity the personal involvement and micromanagement of IBM President Thomas J. Watson and the company's co-planning and co-organizing of Hitler's campaign to destroy the Jews. Why is the Department of Veterans Affairs awarding IBM with a large contract to bring in Watson, a new technology that will be used to replace doctors in an already failing VA health system? Why are they naming it after Thomas J. Watson, the founder and president of IBM? Did you know this man was responsible for making the machines that created punch cards with a coding system to label and eventually kill thousands of Jews? This machine would generate codes to be tattooed on prisoners in Hitler's concentration camps. This man committed genocide by any standard, and IBM and the VA want to throw it in our face clear as day and name it after that monster. If this doesn't piss you off, I don't know what will. Hitler was so impressed with what Watson had done for the Third Reich that he awarded him with a special award created specifically for the occasion to honor extraordinary service by a foreigner. The medal was the Order of the German Eagle with Star, bedecked with swastikas and was to be worn on a sash over Watson's cold, dead heart. Why do they want to put a machine in charge of your health, you might ask yourself? They do it so this pre-programmed evil robot can make the life or death decisions about you, the veteran, instead of the doctors that have received so much flack from the VA scandal over the last year. This helps take human emotions away and also allows the medical personnel to use Watson as a scapegoat should any problems arise, like death. 
Watson will be a new form of medical AI technology used to run the death panels already in place at the VA. How soon will it be until this technology moves over into civilian health care? Will you be a victim of Watson's wrath? This is also happening in another area of the government. They now want to replace humans that fly drones and make them fully autonomous. And many pilots were also claiming PTSD. Once you take the human aspect out of dealing with healthcare and war, things become even more evil. Who is going to check the morals of the men and women who program these machines? How do we know the machines will be told to act ethical and make the right decisions? Well, there you have it. That is the new Watson technology that's going to run the death panels at the already failing VA healthcare system. Now I have a vision of how this Watson technology will be implemented when you walk into the VA. Let's go in here and take a look. Next. Going on. All right, right on. All right, uh, Watson has determined you need to step in the medical chamber, so uh, go ahead. Next.